So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a dukkha mixture. Now dukkha is an Egyptian spice mix consisting of nuts, seeds and spices. This is going to be part of our pumpkin soup that we're making just now. So what we're going to do is we're going to first put the uh, hazelnuts on the roasting tray and then we're going to uh, toss them with a little bit of olive oil, roast them in the oven for about 6 to 10 minutes depending on your oven until they're golden brown. We've got some sesame seeds here, seeds here, which we're going to toast off in the frying pan. Spice is ready? Yes, they are ready. Fantastic. You can just throw this in for me. Oh, and it smells mm, amazing. Great. We're going to grind that as fine as we can. In the meantime, I'm going to add the spice mixture that we've ground to the sesame seeds. And we're going to just stir that together. A pinch of salt, about a teaspoonful and a grind of pepper. And last but not least, we're going to grind the nuts in the food processor. Nuts are going to go straight into the bowl and we'll mix them with the rest of the ingredients. So we've got the dukkha finished. We're going to put that aside now and then we're going to continue with the soup. So Ben is going to uh, peel and slice up the pumpkin for us. And we're going to toss that with uh, some olive oil and some salt and pepper here. Yeah? So we've got our onion done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to heat up a, a pan with some olive oil and we're going to fry off the onion. So what we need is we need some stock to go in the soup. Now, we know that, uh, that at home you don't always have the time to make your own stock. So we're not ashamed to use a cube as long as it's a good quality organic stock cube which is low in, sh in salt. And we're going to add some boiling water. And now we're going to take the pumpkin over to the, the pan and we're going to put it into ready for the soup. And we're going to put this into the blender. So, that can go in. Top on. We're going to take the cap off a little bit just to let some of the steam off. And then we've just rinsed out the pan and we can add it straight back in. Great texture. We've got it ready in the pan. We're going to put it back on the heat, season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper, taste that it's right, and then we're going to plate it up. We've just got a little bit of natural yogurt here. And then this is our roasted pumpkin and dukkha soup with Turkish bread. Bon appétit!